This Walmart hair care brand blew my mind. Everything is under $10 and I absolutely love what it's doing for my wavy curly hair. And one of the most interesting parts, this is actually a YouTuber's hair care brand. As you can see from the title, today I'm reviewing Heritage by Mindy, which is a hair care and hair tool brand available at Walmart created by Mindy McKnight. If you don't know who Mindy is, she is one of the original hair YouTubers on the platform. She has like 5 million subscribers. Her username used to be Cute Girls hairstyles where she would show her creating hairstyles on her daughters. Now what was special about Mindy's content was that her daughters are of different races and hair types. So she was able to relate to a lot of different families and hair care needs and she's still doing that with her Heritage brand. So I've been testing a handful of these Heritage by Mindy products, seeing what they can do for my wavy curly hair and I am ready to share my review. But first if you're new here, hi my name is Miranda. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things budget beauty. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. All right, first things first, let's just do a quick rundown of this brand. There really is something for everyone. There are products that are suitable for all hair types. There are products suitable for wavy hair, curly hair, and coily hair. Most of the product descriptions will tell you what hair type it works best for. Now, I consider my hair type 2B slash 2C on a good day, meaning medium to tight waves. So with that said, the first Heritage by Mindy product that I tried was their Reset Button Scalp Exfoliator. This one I actually did go out and buy myself. They sent me like half these products and then I went out and personally purchased some from Walmart to create a routine that was best for my needs. And scalp scrubs slash exfoliation is a must in my hair care routine. I have a few scalp issues that I deal with like flakiness, dandruff, as well as just irritation, especially if I have product buildup on my scalp. So doing a scrub once a week is essential for me and my scalp to feel healthy. Now on the front of Mindy's packaging, you'll see everything that this is formulated without. And this list does vary product by product. This one is SLS and SLES free, phthalate free, paraben free, silicone free, gluten free, mineral oil free, color safe, cruelty free, and vegan. So they recommend using this before shampooing. That's exactly what I did. So with this exfoliator, you squeeze the tube, the scrub will come out and sort of disperse throughout this comb and you massage it into your scalp for two to three minutes. Now the density of the scalp scrub is like like a Goldilocks formula for me. I actually hadn't found a drugstore scalp scrub that I've liked. I have been ordering mine online from an indie brand because the texture has to be just right to be effective, but not too coarse that you're really not getting a lot of surface area with it, but also not too fine that it kind of just gets lost in your hair. And this is the perfect texture. I feel like I can really work it into my scalp. It's spreading nicely, it's doing its job. The applicator and massager does extra exfoliating, which I like. I'm a little on the fence though. I kind of wish that I just had the scrub in a regular squeeze tube for me to work in with my hands. Just because I found that if I had squeezed out product and then I went in with the brush, a lot of the scrub would just kind of get clogged up in the applicator and it wasn't working its way down to my root until I went in with my hands and kind of like massaged it in. I guess I can always just twist this off and literally just use the scrub like that. Now this is made with willow bark extract, witch hazel, marigold, and apricot seed powder. It is supposed to lift dirt, impurities, and build up from your scalp, clarifying without stripping, and leaves your scalp feeling revitalized and refreshed. I think that it delivered on all of those claims. After using this, my scalp feels so good and so clean, but balanced. I'm not feeling stripped, it's not dry. I have zero flakes, which is what I always look for. And in general, my hair hair at the roots just feels light. So this is definitely my new favorite drugstore scalp scrub or my only favorite drugstore scalp scrub. <laughs> it's cheaper than the one I had been buying online too. And it's definitely earned a place in my regular routine. The next step is one of the products the brand sent me. This is the Heritage Out of My Hair Gentle Daily Shampoo. It is a daily shampoo for all hair types. With this formula, we're getting sulfate-free, phthalate-free, paraben-free, silicone-free, gluten-free, mineral oil-free, color-safe, cruelty-free, and vegan. This is made with jojoba oil, vitamin B5, and aloe. It's supposed to be ultra mild and moisture-rich. Moisture-rich shampoos sometimes freak me out a little bit because obviously this is what I'm using on my scalp and at my root, and I don't want to weigh that down. With my hair, like my ends can soak up all the moisture you give it. But with my roots, like if I overdo it on moisture, it will definitely 
end up giving me a flatter appearance, but I was pleasantly surprised with how this worked out. Despite being sulfate free, this does lather up and that makes it so much easier to spread over the scalp. And this was also after a very sweaty bike ride workout. So I had sweat and oil all up in my hair and it just cut through that, but it did not make my hair feel tangly or stripped. Now I always appreciate a shampoo that's going to cleanse without stripping. So that way I don't have to do damage control and overcompensate with conditioning products. And again, after using this, no dryness on the scalp, no buildup on the scalp. So even though doing rice water hair rinses is an ancient practice, it's kind of gained popularity on social media over the past couple of years. And it's something that I never actually got around to trying, but Heritage does have a rice water rinse. It's called the Rinse is Right. It's supposed to nourish the follicles, restore hydration and vitality. So this is to be used in between shampoo and conditioner. With this pointy nozzle, it makes application a lot easier because this is a thinner product. You part your hair into sections, squeeze this into the parts, massage it in, and then let it sit for three to five minutes. After I applied this in the shower, I was letting it sit and maybe after 90 seconds, I could already feel its effect on my hair. I could feel my hair becoming conditioned. It was starting to detangle without using any other conditioner. And after about four to five minutes, I rinsed this out and my hair was feeling so silky. With this product, I was mostly looking for manageability because especially when I leave my hair natural in its wavy slash curly state, it looks good for a day and then it becomes kind of unmanageable. And even though I've been testing a bunch of these Heritage by Mindy products at the same time, I can't attribute my results to any one product. I have noticed that my hair's a lot more manageable throughout the week and I'm able to sort of refresh it easier for second or third day waves. I like how my hair feels, I like how my scalp feels, so I will definitely continue using this. The last product that the brand sent me to test out was their SOS Deep Moisture and Restore Conditioner. Now I do wanna point out that this this does have silicones in it. So it's not Curly Girl Method approved if you do follow that hair care regimen strictly. As for me, I've definitely cut down on the amount of silicone products I use, but I do notice that my hair typically looks better with just a little silicone. <laughs> so that's not a deal breaker for me. And with most of the other products being silicone free as well, I don't have to worry too much about buildup. So this conditioner specifically says that it's meant for hair types 2B to 4C. So starting at like loosely wavy all the way to super coily. So if you have fine straight hair, this is not gonna be the conditioner to choose. Very moisture rich, but it's not too thick and my hair drank this stuff up. Like when I was rinsing it out, I almost didn't even see all that many suds at the bottom of my shower. My hair loves this stuff, which is actually pretty important. I don't really have a porous hair type, which means like if I put a strand of my hair in water, it would float. It doesn't really absorb super, super easily, but my hair was absorbing this. It's made with macadamia oil, marshmallow extract, and safflower oil. Now, I really wouldn't consider my hair damaged at this point. I stopped heat styling like in the middle of 2020, I wanna say. Very rarely do I still heat style, very much like special occasion. So it's gotten a lot healthier in that regard. I'm not bleaching it anymore, but I do still experience breakage and I feel like this made the breakage look a lot less prominent. Sometimes you'll be able to see, especially because I'm against a white background, my hair will have a lot of these little flyaways, like short strands because of breakage. And I feel like even though they're still a little bit visible and obviously I'm on my second day hair as well, so I've slept on it. In general, my hair is just not looking as unkempt as sometimes it would with all of those little breakage pieces. Also, I feel like my hair has so much volume and shape to it, and I really wasn't expecting that using so many moisture-rich products. Usually when I layer moisture and moisture and moisture, everything just looks a little bit flatter and less shapely, and I'm pleasantly surprised with how much bounce I still have in it. So this was able to adequately moisturize my hair without weighing it down. So once I step out of the shower, there's always still a couple more steps to get my waves where I want them. The first being leave-in conditioner, which I usually go for a spray or liquid version because I'm gonna follow up with a curl cream and I don't want too many thick products after I've already showered. So this is their light as a feather leave-in conditioner, restores, softens, and detangles hair while fighting frizz. This is the only other product that is not silicone free that I tested out. But again, this is incredibly lightweight. It definitely gave me a boost of hydration and it's also supposed to help reduce breakage from brushing. Now, 
I know you're not supposed to brush your hair when it's wet, but I have to, I have to. <laughs> if I do not brush my hair when it's wet, it will dry tangly and crazy. And I feel like I'm able to sort of shape my hair how I want it if I brush it first. So I sprayed this throughout my hair, brushed it out, and then moved on to my curl cream. This is another product that I purchased for myself at Walmart. Now I'll admit they label this hair product for hair types 3A to 4C. Like I said earlier, I'm more like 2B, 2C, but with the right products, sometimes I can get into 3A territory. It's more like 2C plus, <laughs> where I have actual curls, they're just a little loose. But in general, I love using curl creams because I do think that they make my waves look more defined and even. I started out with my hair in a microfiber towel for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then I took the towel off and let my hair air dry completely, parted my hair where I wanted it, and oh my gosh, I absolutely love how my hair looks after this routine. Like I said earlier, my hair retained so much of its shape and volume. It's like my haircut was actually showing. The biggest thing though, is that I felt like the shape of my waves and curls were very uniform throughout my whole entire head. A lot of the times I'll have really coily pieces underneath, like near the nape of my neck and then very flat pieces on top. And I felt like everything just looked a lot more uniform throughout. My hair was feeling great. The curl cream did not add any any crunch or like hard pieces. And again, because my hair was just more manageable from this routine, I felt like I was able to maintain the look for days after. Heritage does have a look refreshing spray, which I did not buy, but I would be curious to see how it would work. But even with just water, like I said, I was able to sort of zhuzh my hair back into place after sleeping. Today I'm on second day hair. I washed my hair yesterday with this routine again, and I still think it looks freshly styled. With wavy hair, you're always gonna have it loosen up day to day between washes. But even when my hair does start loosening up a bit after I've washed it with these products, it doesn't look messy. Also something that I wanted to point out, I did see a few reviews of this brand where people were complaining about the fragrance and saying that it was really strong, which kind of confused me. I don't know if we were using the exact same products because I would say I'm pretty sensitive to fragrance, I'm always mentioning it when I'm reviewing makeup. And to me, these products do have a scent to them, but they're pretty subtle, especially when you're in the shower and they don't really linger too much on the hair. Like my hair smells clean, but it doesn't smell perfumed. But if that is a concern for you, I did see when I went to Walmart that they have fragrance free options in their products. Not for every single product, but I think at least for their shampoo and conditioner. And again, that is such a cool thing to include that you don't see all the time at the drugstore level. I feel like a lot of drugstore hair care brands rely on fragrance as like a huge marketing tool. So I really like that they gave that option for those of you who are very, very sensitive. Also, if I had to put a name to the scent, it's like almost so subtle that I can't describe it. <laughs> Maybe a slight licorice quality to it, but again, it's, it's, just very slight. Needless to say, this line really impressed me. All of these products are $8.97. Psh. Overall, the proof is in the pudding. I don't really have anything bad to say about this brand because I love how my hair looks so much. But I wanna know, have you tried any products from Heritage by Mindy? What's your hair type? What did you like? What didn't you like? Tell me in the comments below. Today's shout out goes to Teresia. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad. And join me over in this video next where we test a bunch of new drugstore makeup and find some hits and some misses. I'll see you over there. Bye.